Are you tired of using lighter fluid in your charcoal grill and you're sick of those nasty flavors they leave on your food? Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you my four favorite methods to light your charcoal grill without lighter fluid. Hello and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. And unless the real Coleman is still in COVID quarantine, I'm Coleman. My mission is to help barbecue and grilling enthusiasts become the backyard grill master they've always wanted to be. Now, if you're anything like me, I love the taste of meat grilled over hot charcoal. Nothing beats a thick, juicy steak over coals with family and friends. Now, for years, I use lighter fluid to light my charcoal. And for years, I put up with that lighter fluid flavor on my meat and I just thought it was normal. Well, no more of that. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my four favorite methods to fire up my charcoal grill. And the last one is my favorite, so don't miss out on that one. Let's get started. Now, before we get started, we need to clean out our grill of all that charcoal ash from our last cook. It's really gonna help your grill breathe better and last a whole lot longer. My Weber kettle has a nice system for cleaning out the ash. You just move the lower vent adjustment back and forth a few times and it cleans itself out. Now it's ready to light. Method number one, using paper. Everybody has this stuff laying around the house, anything from newspaper to paper bags. But my favorite is butcher paper, and the best stuff is the stuff that I use to wrap around my last brisket or pork butt. That stuff is covered in rendered fat and is very flammable. But let's say you don't have any of that. Just grab some of that packing paper that came wrapped around that new garden gnome you ordered last week from Amazon at 2 a.m. You know the one. Take a piece of that that's about two feet long and twist it into a rope and then tie it in a knot to where it looks like a donut. Donuts. I love donuts. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Where was I? All right, paper. Now place the paper in the bottom of your grill on top of your bottom grate. Place it right in the middle of your grill and pour a little cooking oil on top of it. Any type will work and you don't need much. Then place a few charcoal briquettes on top of the paper donut and light it. Now let this burn for about 15 minutes until that charcoal starts to ash over. Then pour more charcoal over those lit coals and those few coals will light the rest. In about 20 minutes, your charcoal is ready to grill on. Now this is my least favorite way to light my grill, but it works in a pinch. Who says that anymore, in a pinch? What does it even mean? Anyway, it tends to take a little longer, but it works if you're grilling something low and slow. Okay, method number two, commercial fire starters. Now you can buy these things just about anywhere, or at least you can during the summer, and they come in all forms. And I've seen some that look like little wax sticks and some that look like tumbleweeds. I've even some that look like little wax sugar cubes. The downfall to these is they can be a little expensive and they're hard to find in the winter months. So I prefer to make my own and they're extremely easy to make. Let me show you how. First, take some cotton balls. You can either pick up some from the store or pull some out of the vitamin bottle you have in the bathroom. If you don't have any cotton, you can also use dryer lint. Okay, man, let me help you out. This is a dryer. It's the machine that your honey puts your clothes in to magically dry them. Where would we men be without our wives taking care of us? We're as bad as a bunch of four-year-olds. So on behalf of all us men, ladies, we're sorry. Now, just make sure that dryer lint came out of the dryer after a load of towels or jeans. That way it's mostly cotton fibers. Now take some Vaseline and rub it into the cotton ball. Make sure you use plenty and the cotton ball gets saturated. I make about 20 of these at a time and store them in a mason jar. They tend to keep much better that way. Then fill your grill with your favorite charcoal. Place two of these Vaseline soaked cotton balls in the pile on opposite sides and light them. These things will catch and burn for about five minutes. A little tip, these also work great for starting a campfire or your fireplace. In about 15 minutes, your charcoal will ash over and will be ready to use. Hey, if you're finding some value in this video, go ahead and click the like button below and hit the subscribe button here. Okay, time for method number three, the charcoal chimney. This method has become pretty popular and is a great way to start your grill, but it's still not my favorite. You can pick up one of these in most stores in the summer, but I'll put a link below to the one that I use. Now the charcoal chimney has two ends. One end is deep 
and the other end is shallow. The great thing is, is you can use either end. When I don't need much charcoal, I put the charcoal in the shallow end, and when I need more, I put it in the deeper end. These things are so simple to use. Just set it on top of your grill grates, fill it up with charcoal, place some wadded up paper under the bottom, and set that on fire. The chimney will do all the work for you. In about 15 minutes, pour all that charcoal in your grill and start grilling. And now the method you've all been waiting for, my favorite way to light a charcoal grill. This method works great for all charcoal grills as well as any Kamado style grill, and here it is. It's the propane torch, and who doesn't like playing with fire? I picked this torch up for $30 on Amazon, and I'll put a link below to this one. It's equipped with a self-igniter and an adjustment dial to adjust the flame size. Another thing I like about it is it's 32 inches long, so it helps get you away from that, that flame. It's important because sometimes lump charcoal can tend to pop and send those sparks flying. Now these propane bottles, I pick them up at Walmart for about 15 bucks for a pack of four, and each one of these bottles will last me several months, and I use them several times a week. Another thing I picked up for mine is a bottle stand. I picked this up at Walmart for under 15 bucks. If your grill has a side table like this one, you can set it there to work while you do other things. Here's how it works. Turn the gas valve on about halfway, hit the ignite button until it flames up, and point it at the charcoal. I like to keep the tip about two to three inches away from the coals for about 30 to 60 seconds. Once the coals start turning red, they're lit. Depending on what I'm grilling, I might move to another spot for a second starting point. Once the coals are lit, let it heat up for about 15 minutes and it's time to grill. Another bonus to this torch is it can be used to put a great sear on your steaks. Once you have those steaks up to temperature and off the smoker, you can use this torch to give them a great sear. If you need some great tips on grilling steaks, I'll put a link right up here to a video that might help you out. There you go, my four favorite ways to light my charcoal grill. Find the one that works best for you and run with it. By the way, we just got in a batch of our grilling and chilling stickers, and I'd love for you all to have one. Just go to our website and click on the Contact Us page. Send me your address, and I'll mail one out to you free of charge. I'll even pay the shipping. Also, don't forget to join the Grillin' and Chillin' community on Facebook and Instagram. The links are below. Leave me a comment below what you'd like to see in some upcoming videos. I want to continue to make videos that truly help you become the backyard grill master you've always wanted to be. Thank you again for joining me in the GNC Kitchen. If you like this video, here's a few more that you might like. Also, please like and subscribe here and ring that bell. It'll let you know when I have new videos that are coming out. I always enjoy spending time with you in the GNC kitchen and sharing my tips and recipes. Now y'all go grill something.